Hi everybody, welcome back. And today we continue our journey with the blue apron of the week one. And um, today I decided to make this creamy chicken and pepper pasta with capers and parmesan, which is supposed to take us 30, 40 minutes to cook and have a fourth servings as well. For this, we're going to need a boneless chicken breast pieces. Here we have 18 ounces. Actually, they have a double package, which is to me, it's better than HelloFresh because HelloFresh, as I told you prior, sometimes leaking and since they have a paper bag, they all wet. In this case, it's not going to happen because all is a plastic, so plastic holds very well. This is our ingredients. We are starting with the cream that consider, not consider, I'm sorry, they contain a milk. I think it's kind of like a a la Alfredo or something. We have um, two ounces of, no, we have um, half of the pound of the sweet peppers. They are all really good. Look, nice quality. And we have more. And then we have two ounces roasted red pepper. So the sweet pepper and red pepper is gonna give us the color. Then we have the roasted ones that's already there, which is kind of interesting. We have another cream butter here. Hot chili, crushed. Um, I assume this is coppers. Always was trying to figure out what is the coppers are. Kind of like a little beans or something. We have yellow onion. We have can of tomato sauce. We have tomato pasta, paste, parmesan cheese and our Elikoidali pasta. I assume it's a quarter of a pound as well. That's what we're going to cook with. Let's go ahead and get started. Step one, we need to prepare ingredients and start the sauce. Fill a large pot three fourths of the way up with salted water, cover and heat to boiling on high. So this is gonna be preparation for our pasta cooking. Then we're going to wash and dry sweet pepper, cut off and discard the stems, remove the cores, then thinly slice into rings, okay. Half peel and medium dice the onion, peel and roughly chop two cloves of garlic. Oh, they did not give us the garlic. Hmm. The garlic was missing, but you know what? I think I got one. It was just in them, not in a bag, but like in a package, a whole clove of garlic, roughly chopped roasted peppers, and in bowl combine diced onion, chopped garlic, chopped roasted peppers and peppers, and then combine tomato sauce, half cup of water, and as much of chili paste as you like, depending on hot spicy. We're not established that we're not really spicy lovers, but we're gonna make it work. Let's go ahead. All right, so this part is done. We chopped onion, roasted bell pepper, garlic, add coppers, capers, whatever the name of it, and chopped the um, sweet pepper. Took me some time, but I did it. Step two. Now we're going to cook the chicken and peppers. Pet chicken, dry, with paper towel, seasoned with salt and pepper. Add olive oil in a large high-sided pan, then add seasoned chicken, cook for three to four minutes until lightly brown. Then we add in sweet peppers, season with salt and pepper again, and cook it all together, stirring occasionally for three to four minutes. We can do that too. While our olive oil is heating up on a pan, we are going to cook our pasta and uh, it will take us 
up to 12 minutes. We have already our water that is boiled. We're adding our pasta. Going to stir it and wait till 12 minutes until it's done. Okay, so the oil is warmed up, heat up. I'm adding our chicken. It's going to cook it for a couple of minutes and after that we're going to add our bell pepper. So the chicken starting to be lightly golden brownish. You barely can see it, but I can see it a little bit. So now we're going to add our paper and cook it together. We're going to give it a little sear. I'm going to wait three to four minutes until our pepper is soft and tender. The chicken is ready, so now we're going to transfer it to a plate. Just like so. And next step is going to prepare our sauce. For that, we're going to first melt the butter which is conveniently given us in the kit. Okay. After the butter is melted, we're going to um, add our onion mixture, which is we have here onion, then we have our bell pepper that was um, roasted, our coppers, and the garlic. The butter is almost melted. Now we are adding our mixture from here. And going to saute for a couple of minutes before next part of the step. All right, our mixture is getting to be tender and I just looked it up, what is the coppers are. It is a plant and these are little coppers, coppers, whatever you call them, but um, let me focus my camera so you actually can see that. Right here. These are green little um, part of the plant. It's like the flower that haven't bloomed yet. And um, these are from the plant called Cuthversus spinosa, and they are used as a spice. I did not know that, now I know it. And let's get back to our meal prep. So here we are um, three to four minutes cooking our mixture right there. Now it is time to add our tomato pasta, which is right here. Everything conveniently already prepared and nothing needs to be measured. That is nice. Going incorporated with it. The smell is outstanding, like all the garlic and onion and bell pepper with the chicken smells so, so good. Now, we're going to add next step, our sauce and cook stirring for additional three to four minutes. We have our tomato sauce that's been given us as well, we add in it and cooking it additional three to four minutes before we adding remain ingredients. 
it's been three minutes and our sauce is almost done the last touch we're adding our cream it says indian milk and honey i never tried before so i hope it will be good one and a second package Now we're going to cook for additional minute until all the ingredients incorporate, turn off the heat and combine our all ingredient and enjoy our meal. And here it is, our final look. And this is a creamy chicken pepper pasta. Looks pretty similar. The only last touch when it's gonna be on a plate, we need to sprinkle with some Parmesan cheese and it will be done. According to my opinion, look very similar. Let's see how it tastes.